Hello, this is Ian from Validate. Today we're going to talk about a network environment that lets you emulate voice calls over mobiles through a small cell, through a RAN controller, the satellite network, and then to a core network and out to the internet or a phone. Now this can be in a number of different ways. Um, you can either have this as a hardware solution or as a software solution. We're going to be looking at the software solution today. And the software solution is running in ESXi. We've got a VM for each of the different LTE components. In this case, we've got UE, we've got um, ENOB, MME, um, S-Gateway, P-Gateway, HSS and PCRF, and the IMS server all running on um, ESXi. Now, the application is, is started up here. It's running, we get a bit of log information there. Um, we should be able to see some things in Wireshark as that happens over over here. We can just minimize that a little bit, resize the columns, um, and uh, I'll just zoom out a little bit so we can see the, the actual S1 traffic over there. So now if we go to the UE, each one of the components has its own um, you know, indicator to show that it's running. Um, you can set the duration of, of each of the calls um, from a minimum and maximum value, how many calls you want to, to generate, and then you can hit start. So what this will then do is start with the attach. We'll see an S1 attach, and then it will set up the, uh, the tunnel and uh, put the, the VoIP calls down the GTP tunnel. You can see the GTP header. And then in this case, the register, and then the 200 on the register, invite, and uh, you know, and it keeps making calls and keeps sending um, RTP packets uh, for audio down that tunnel. So now that's running. Um, we, can, we can look at a few other things. Um, we can also start iMix in the background. This will give us a um, you know, background set of packets that are typical on a network, different sizes, uh, you know, different types of protocol. So we can start that running as well. So th that would just fill up the, the pipe even more. So we'll see not only um, you know, GTP packets, but sorry, not only RTP packets, but we also see um, you know, other random packets within the, within the, the GTP frames. Um, so that will you know, just keep running um, <coughs> all kinds of different uh, data sizes there. Um, so now we can look at several things. We have a um, a, a graphing tool here that shows um, the the um, number of, of signaling packets and some other metrics around how long it takes to set up the call um, and then how much media is being sent. So you can see um, the media packets over here and here. And then we can also see the round trip time. So this shows uh, the, um, the, the round trip time from originating the call through the network and back to the to the source that was um, on the phone device, the phone emulation device. Um, so as that's running, you can also look at CDRs. Um, the CDRs will give us a, um, you know, an additional set of metrics here with the, the call quality and uh, other information on the call. So you can see if it um, was successful or not. Um, you see the MOS score, R value and information like that. Um, it also gives an application score as well, which um, is related to the signaling, uh, how, you know, how fast or how that responded, um, scores that as well in, in this green color. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's running. Now what we can do, um, just to kind of emulate the satellite a little bit more, we can see the round trip time is, is set there. If I just go to the, um, uh, the, the emulated satellite link, which is um, a couple of the, uh, the, the link in, in the middle of the network. Um, so now we just put on a, a network emulation to, to add a 500 millisecond delay through there. And we should now see you know, the round trip time's gone up um, by 500. Um, so that's showing that that's working. And there's also some changes to the, the call setup time. So that's taking longer in, in some cases and it depends what state the call is in. So that's not happening as often, um, but that's, that's also now going up. Um, yeah, so um, that's the kind of thing we can do. Um, it can scale pretty well. It's a, a good, cost-effective, flexible solution. If you need to change any of the core flows, you can do that. Um, you can put any kind of traffic types uh, down through the network. Uh, and uh, 
uh, yeah, and uh, we can also look at the the way the virtual networking set up um, within the ESXi. We have a different VLAN and a different uh, V uh, switch set up for for each of the the links. So um, we have you know different uh, connections there, depending on if it's you know like P gateway to um, PCRF or IMS to P gateway and so on. You can see all the different settings. Uh, so, you know, customers might want to look at certain links within that network and either expose it, go into a real network element in your network, or else um, you might just want to tap across it to look at the traffic on a specific link, um, especially if you're emulating or if you have a satellite in the middle or something else. Uh, yeah, so um, again, this is Validate. We can um, emulate this in software or hardware, and I hope you found the demonstration helpful. Thank you.